Today we're going to go over programming some wireless transmitters from one button, two button, four button to eight button uh, to a wireless receiver. These are all units we sell at controlallwireless.com or snowplowsplus.com. Uh, they have hundreds of uses. We use them at Snowplows Plus uh, for retrofitting uh, tailgate spreaders, inbox, V-box, sanders, salters, uh, equipment like that. Uh, we actually we have them for uh, older snowplows when you pick up snow plow off uh, craigslist or ebay or wherever and you don't have the control and wiring we have a fit for that also uh, there's just hundreds of possible uh, applications for these products um, they're all dc so any pretty much most of anything that runs off dc uh, there's probably a wireless solution for it but today we're just going to go over programming these. We get a lot of questions on programming. Uh, they're all pretty simple, but allowing this, following this video, we figured it would be easier. So I'm just going to go in here to the different transmitters we have. We call that a 600. That's for uh, tailgate spreader, single motor tailgate spreader. Um, and that has five functions and a blast and... Uh, for different speeds of the spreader. And then we have our 625. That's pretty much the same as the 600, except it has a, a vibrator on and off option for those uh, spreaders that have a vibrator. And these are electric ones. And then the 650 is commonly used on electric V-box spreaders that have two motors. And then we have our, our gas spreader transmitter. And that's for the standard single engine gas driven V box spreaders. And then the Gas Spreader Plus just has a couple extra latching functions on it for lights, uh, vibrator, or whatnot. Then over here we get into our standard eight button uh, transmitter. There's a four button key fob, two button key fob, and a one button key fob. Um, the eight button here is the same as all of these. So they all, all the eight buttons, um, they all program the same, even the one, two, and four, they all program pretty much the same, which we'll go through. The only thing to point out, which would be any different, would be on the eight button, on the back side of this, you're going to see a small hole right here that's for a paper clip and inside there there's a button to press when we go through the programming this area above it that's actually a light that'll flash when you depress this one time with a paper clip um, then that button will start flashing for about 15 seconds and that's when you got to start the programming which we'll go through on the on on this this four button okay you got your add hole here and that's where you stick your paper clip and then in the middle here is where your blue light will flash now the only difference would be on some versions like when we get into this two button here okay there's your add hole that's where you're going to stick your paper clip when we get to the programming um, and just to press lightly but the actual light is going to shine up here, up on the top here. You'll see the blue light flashing. So that's going to be the only difference. So, th so these smaller transmitters, you might get both ways. You might have one with the window in the back in the middle that blinks blue. Or if you don't see anything there after you depress the button, just turn it over. You'll see it on the front side. Um... Next, we're going to go to a, a receiver. This happens to be just a two-button, two-function receiver, but they all program the same. So inside any of the boxes we sell, you're going to see that black button right here. And then you'll see a light here. But that black button is going to be the other part of the programming function that we will we'll go over. So what you're going to need to do 
is you're going to take, and I'm just going to use a power supply here. So you're going to strip your red wire is hot, of course. Your black wire is ground. Any other wires you have there, those are all corresponding to buttons that you're going to depress. Uh, and you won't have to worry about them for programming. You just need to worry about them that you get them connected to the right functions on whatever you want to operate. And these all come with manuals and whatnot. So I got that. I hooked up my power supply. I'm just off a 12 volt power supply. You can use a 12 volt battery or whatever. I'm going to go ahead and program this unit to this key fob. Um, so this, what I'm going to go through is going to be the same with all of these. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to take my paper clip, press it in this button here, I'm going to turn that over and you can see the blue light. This one has it on the front. The other ones uh, will have it in the back. So while that light's blinking, I want to press each button one time. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is wait till that light goes out. And that's a very important part of this. You need to wait till the blue light stops blinking before you go any further. Then I'm going to go into the receiver. I'm going to press the black button one time. The red light starts to blink. Then again, while that light's blinking, I'm just going to press each button once. I'm done with that. I'm going to press the, that black button to get the light to go off. Now our programming is done. So now you'll see when I press a button, it's connected. The red light comes on when I press either button on this two button transmitter. And that's all it is to program any of these units. The only difference would be is on this one here, your eight, any of your eight buttons, you got your create hole on the bottom, and then that little hole on the top with the window, that's where your blue light will flash. But again, very important to make sure where most people go wrong is they do not wait for that blue light to go out and they go right to pressing the black button. But if you follow these directions, you shouldn't have any problem. Uh, again, you can find us at controlallwireless.com or snowplowsplus.com for all your wireless needs.